Okay, so it's been a while since I made a video. I wanted to kind of <coughs> give a quick overview of a um, ESP32 cam uh, case that I built that is uh, kind of versatile, uh, easily to clamp onto things with this little clamp on here. If you clamp it onto a round bar, uh, you'll have motion in this direction and you will have motion in this direction. So that's what I'll kind of walk through here. So this is the uh, ESP32 cam module that you can buy. What I am trying to achieve is to build a uh, 3D scanner using many of these. Uh, don't know if that's going to work yet because the resolution, the maximum resolution on these little cameras is uh, 1600 by 1200. So I don't know if that is enough for mesh room, but time will tell. But in the meantime, I designed this case for the um, ESP32 and what I kind of wanted to do was first of all have a case that would fit the camera itself but I also wanted to be able to keep updating the software on it so I did not want to have to break apart the case all the time so um, what I built was this little uh, module that uses a um, FTDI programmer uh, that will allow me to you know when I program the board I can easily plug in the board like so and that would be generally the initial programming mode I'm in but afterwards if I want to update the software I wanted to be able to do the same thing with the case itself so what I wanted to achieve was something that uh, I can hook up externally but just as easily uh, take off the uh, power cord which is and I'll walk through this in a little bit uh, but take this out and then at this point I have the uh, space available so I can actually plug in the camera while it's in its case so at this point it's plugged in the same way and I can reprogram the board without having to actually take the board out of the case itself so that's kind of what I was aiming for with this particular case that I built so I will make the STL files available for the case so it's basically a clip-on type of deal uh, where the camera fits in um, the there's the gap for the uh, actual connection to program it but I also added a tiny hole that uh, goes fairly deep so you could put a um, paper clip through there to actually do the reset because you still have to press the reset button before you upload the software and once it's plugged in on the board that's being dealt with you have to kind of short the uh, GPIO one I believe so what happens is I basically just put this jumper on here click the reset and then it's ready for upload as far as the uh, clip is concerned here I made a um, clip that is basically just you know I, I added uh, these holes on all sides in my case I'm going to be using the ones on the, the long end but it can it allows me to clip on this is just basically done by tension by pulling it apart slightly and clicking it on and that keeps its position the case has the uh, slot in there so you can actually remove and insert the um, SD card should you want to do that what I did to actually connect the board in the back is I created this little plastic clip and then I bought these uh, 8 pin double stack DuPont connectors that will allow me to uh, push it on to the board when it's in the case and what I kind of want to achieve even though we're really just using the 5 volt and the ground um, just using those two connectors you would very easily lose the connection or like it would fall out so this basically clips on to all eight pins there uh, the wiring goes through here and then I kind of made it so that you can kind of uh, suffix the wiring to the actual clip itself and the clip itself then would go into the back of the camera like so it would go make sure that it's underneath the wire here but so it would insert in here click on the back and so at this point it's connected and it doesn't come off at this point so right now there's no risk of these you know wires disconnecting from the camera itself so that's kind of what I was going for so all you need is uh, the SDLs which will make available for the case itself uh, for the little wire clip so the wire clip actually has and I hope you can see this in the video it has the, the, the holes in there so you can actually uh, slide in one of these double stacked uh, pins here to keep it connected so 
and that slides right through and then you can just basically just bend over these pins that go through the clip itself and then as far as once you solder up the wiring you can really just connect this one because this one doesn't really do anything unless you want to keep it in place of course you're free to like you know connect all the wires if you want to but in my case I'm only powering up the camera externally so it's just the, the 5 volt and the ground that goes with the 5 volt I use these little mini uh, spring clamp-ons so what I did is there's a slot in the back of this swivel arm um, in my case I'm going to add uh, one of these little uh, spring clamps onto it um, what I did for that is I actually created a, a jig that I can slide on here that will allow me to actually um, it goes from this side but uh, it fits only one one way properly so that's how it fits on here and at that point once it sits on here you can take it drill and basically drill right through the center and that's why I have the jig because it's um, uh, so right now you can see the center is perfect the hole is perfectly centered I hope you can see this um, inside the, the the clamp the problem is if you don't use that jig there's actually like plastic like there's a plastic ridge on the inside here that uh, will push your drill to the side and you will never get a centered hole and then at that point you can just put in a 10 millimeter m3 screw and take it through and then just you can kind of position the nut with your fingers so at that point you can kind of just tighten the bolt in there and so now at this point this clamp is attached to the swivel and then the swivel to the case so that's really all there is to the setup i will uh, put the sdl files out on thingiverse and i might make an instructable for this little thing and uh, i hope this uh, case would work out for you as well as it is for me if you like this video please subscribe and thank you for your time